Hello? Oh, there we go. We got that one set. Sorry. Um, having some technical difficulties going through all of them. Okay. Um, all right. Let's get started. Sorry. Five minutes a little late. I'll bring my target slip next time. And my hair. All right, so what I got going on today is we're working on a Buick bug. Uh, the MG just needs the details done. I'll probably go out there and show you a little bit of what's going on with it. But mostly what I want to show is what we're working on on the MG. So let's head on outside and show you what I've done uh, between the builds and where we're going to go from there. All right, so... The MG, not the MG, sorry, the Buick Bug, it has, the belly pan is curved. It's just one long sausage. Yeah. So I built, I wanted to do it out of metal. I really did. I, Steve Vincent uh, really inspired me to try, there it is, my talents. I have none. So I have some. Sheet metal. I didn't have any room. I can't afford it. Uh, this is just some stuff I had, and I tried shaping it with a hammer. That's all I have. I don't even have a sandbag. I don't have a log. I don't have anything to that regards. So, uh, yeah. So, and nor do I have the money to get. You know, one biggest thing I'll need is a shrinker and a stretcher to get all these compound curves that will be needed. So I went with something I know, well, no, that I've already used before, and that's fiberglass. So I made a form out of cardboard, if you followed along on the panel. Um, we have, I shaped it out of cardboard, and then I, there's two coats of cloth, and then, yeah, and the resin. And then up here where it might get some rocks, this is actually four layers uh, right here uh, that might get some dings. Now there's a couple little bubbles, like that's a bubble there, and there's a bubble there, but those will be able to come out. And it's just uh, aesthetics. There's no structure behind this at all. So there we go. That's where we're at on that. So what we are going to work on today is inside. So let's go ahead and look at that car. So let's head back inside the shop and take a look. All right, so what we have here. Oh. All right, so what we got here is the frame. And then we worked on the seat. Now, I did change something since the last time we met, and that's the back. Let me show you what I've done here is originally we had the nine inch square tubing there. Well, I cut those out and I put this angled one in for the backrest. Uh, this way it just went right through, didn't have to worry about changing it or having multiple pieces. So I went ahead and did that. Boards in there, I'll go ahead. And... It always makes me nervous, but I'm standing and jumping on it. It's, yeah, that's good. It's holding my weight. Uh, We'll see how well it handles. Hopefully, they have it ready, not body wise, but drivable this weekend. We'll see how it goes. There are a few uh, roadblocks I have to get past. And then this just piece of cardboard, just uh, had an idea. So I could draw the back. Uh, the back end came in like a wasp. And then we'll look over at some pictures here real quick. So today's plan is I got some steel strapping here. And then out by the grinder is some. Uh, half inch square tubing, and we're going to build the hoop for the steering wheel and the front of the cockpit. So, we're going to go over that today. So, I got the cardboard, uh, I got the steering wheel and shaft from the original uh, Buick Bug that I built uh, for Titan of 2019. Uh, and I'll talk about something I did with that, and I'm probably going to do it again on this one, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. So I want to talk about the design of the Buick Bug. So let me go grab that picture. So, Buick Bug. Um, 
Let's pull this one over here real quick. All right, so like I was saying, it's just a cylinder type vehicle. There's the body. Um, I will barely be able to see over the hood. The idea is that the hood will be just level with my eyes is the goal. Uh, a few things have already come off a little different. You know, what I draw on CAD uh, was just a quick representation. It's not all true dimensions, uh, all the frame rails there. Uh, like the seat is a little different. I've gone a little lower with the seat. Um, this was just measuring an office chair I had. So now I've got a little different. So, but yeah, and then it comes down. This is the radiator right here for exhaust. Um, and then just round it off in the nose. So those are the things that will, is this one right here is what we're going to work on. So that way I could skin this all with cardboard and then again do fiberglass onto the cardboard itself. And then I could shape from here forward afterwards um, and then be able to put it together. So back over there. There we go. And put this back on off. All right, then as we're working today, one thing I'll, I'll, it will be a little, one, I don't have my uh, friend, uh, Ken Buns, he's been coming down to help me with the filming, uh, mostly with camera control. So I'm gonna do my best. Uh, and so I also have Mike Robinson that's been coming to help as well. Uh, let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna grab my pencil, kind of give a quick little sketch about the shape and then I'll, uh, Back it to the printout that I have. So let's go to that. All right, pencil. All right, that up. And there's something else I thought I needed. Oh, sign up keyboard. The rear axle on this is the 42 inch wide axle, which then makes it uh, center line to center line or track width uh, 43 inches. Uh, it just happened to be the only axle I have. The MG has the shorter of the two, so. There we go. All right, so we're in. This is about the line that we use that level on. My feet will be up here. I should, they'll probably be back here. So that way I have stuff to press against to hold myself. And that's what I'm going to work on. So we have steering rod, steering wheel. Now, I'm probably going to follow a few other people and make my own steering wheel. I really love the wood look and I'd like to have that experience to make one instead of this uh, go-kart wheel. So we're looking at about there. So that's gonna be, got yeah, my Sharpies here. I'm gonna go, now I'm looking at my knees because of the dash, I don't want it to be too high or too low. So I put it on this side. So when I put that, I'm like I said, I probably have my feet near there. And so just out of working. Right out to me. I don't know, down. Okay. These are all the boring parts that we miss out on all the other guys' videos. This is why. I call it the one-to-one. -one. It's all the research and learning, some of the other stuff. But a lot of us are already into that because we're building these because we love building. We're what's called makers. But some of us are getting into making. So I'm sharing what knowledge I have from fabrication. So I'm looking at the steering wheel. Once again, I'm putting the knees here, picking the dash. I'm gonna probably go there. So. Mark that. I'm marking on the frame here, so I'm putting dash 
on the frame, okay? And then, so I got my knees there. Now I'm looking at the steering shaft. Let's see if I can get my leg out there. There we go. So I want the steering wheel right about there. So I'm just marking right here. I can transfer it over later. I'll double check that's where I like it. Yep, it's up there. Okay. I'm going to mark that screen. Okay, and then the last thing, I'm actually going to pull this out of the way because it's out of my way. And that put my, both my legs down. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so like I said, I want to be able to look just over the thing. I want it because the car was really tall. Uh, well, a lot of the cars at the time were, but that one was really tall because that had overhead valves. And so the engine was extremely tall, extremely huge. Uh, the pistons alone were coffee cans uh, sized. So I'm looking. I'm going to go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go plus right now. That's probably too much. Not too little. This is the spot. Let's do it. I'm going to go low, high, and then I'm going to call that my horizon. The uh, just good. <laughs> the little three little bears. Uh, well, Goldilocks and the three little bears. All right. So let me uh, show you what I just sketched out on my piece of cardboard. That's the other thing. It's getting out of these things. That's why the uh, seat is so long, so I have a spot to kind of slide my feet up. Okay, get that made out of a board. All right, so let me show you what I got over here. So what I got, make sure I'm in camera here. There we go. There's where my knee would sit from the frame, the steering wheel, the low, good, eye level and too high. So I'm gonna go off of that, okay? And then let's go ahead and make some measurements and uh, draw this out. So let's head on outside where I have my tables and sketch this up. All right. These are those uh, plastic lifetime tables. They uh, actually we have the manufacturer here in Utah. Got the Keep several of the students uh, that own, belong to the owner of the company's owners. All right, let's see here. Let's put you in the camera. Yeah, not like it's really interesting. It's piece of cardboard. There we go. And then I got a sheetrock square. Okay. And then this is all factory cut cardboard, so it has straight edges per se, uh, better than what I would cut. So now what I'm gonna do is just make lines across matching. And just like everything else, it depends on what I'm marking. So I'm marking my knee and the line is arched. So I'm gonna pick the highest part of the arch. So that way I know that I'm good. And then I'm gonna actually just use Sharpie on this. That uh, way it shows up easily on the camera. So there's my knee. And then the steering, same thing. I'm gonna pick the tallest mark. Okay. And then the top of the car. There we go. Okay, now what I need is make some measurements. And so I want to lead you outside here with cardboard. Let me make sure it doesn't get stolen. And let me go over the inside. Check your brain. Questions with the
I didn't know I was on mute that whole time. I am sorry. Well, hopefully you kind of caught on what I'm doing. All right. Then that's why I need you. All right. So now let me go back over what I got. Because I was on mute. So what I have here is this is the knee line where my knee was, steering wheel, and the high line. Um, originally said it, but I needed about two inches so that way it goes in. This will be two inches folded at 90 degrees from this arch that I'll end up creating. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up. We'll go there. I'll use this to screw up my line. And then where my knee goes down here, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out so that way then I could start working on other parts. And then I'm actually going to score this line real quick while I'm on it. Actually, before I score it all, I'm going to cut the high line off. That way I have this piece of cardboard for another use. Now I'm going to score this. Now, okay. oh, not enough. There we go. So now I have that 90. I probably ended up having to do that because uh, I didn't take in for the. Uh, the thickness of the cardboard sitting in between. This is gonna be 17 on the nose. So. Now, real quickly, I want to just go in and check this. So, what we got here. There we go. So, So now I going to do some more trimming. I want to do, and this probably will not stay in the car, but I just, I need, cardboard's not the strongest. Just to give it a little more. Strength. This is just the mock up, not fiberglass. In this. Okay, so. Now what I have to do is we're going to create the arch of the, of the nose because this thing was rounded on the high side. So what I want to do is I'm going to, this time I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to set this in here. Now I have this little bit to give you some strength 
and hopefully give me some idea of where this arch is going to be. It will be nice to have because the arch I'm putting in, I want to make sure it's actually quite rigid. Uh, that's how it's like tell. That way, I have something to hold on to. That's the goal between using strapping and the, uh, the one by one or the half by half I have. So once again, my feet are going to be probably up in this area. Uh, and I want to put it here for now. I want to get my weights in down this. So this is a uh, three inch. I went with two inches of overlap. And I'm looking over the head. I'm almost want to go. No, I'm gonna go two inches. Yep. Okay, so I'll measure make sure I have center, but for now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of eyeball it. And I'll figure out where I want the shaft coming right here. It's going to come There we go. Okay, so I just took a pencil sketch. Like so that's why you can't see pencil mark in the here. No, here. no it's in the way. So I just kind of just roughly artistically drew that arch. Then it will happen to. All right. All right. So what I'm gonna do now? We'll head back outside. I want to measure this. Make sure I know where center really is. Remember, this is 17 inches, so that would be what eight and a half. So I'm gonna find out where eight and a half falls, and then uh, make sure I have center good. And then I'll cut this, and then I'll just put it on this side so I can mirror it, and then cut that side, um, and then we'll set it in. And then we'll talk about bending the metal for it, um, because I don't have a tube roller. Um, I have one at my shop, but it's only for round material. I don't actually have one for square material, and I want a square bar here. Um, and then it will line up with this one over here, and then we'll talk about what I did with this, I wish I had the other one. The those that were at Titan, remember it was the red car, had a plastic nose. It was, you know, it was my first attempt, and then it went through a lot of revisions as I learned. Um, but yeah, we had some issues with the steering, and so we've uh, hopefully solved that. All right, so let's uh, head back up top. I'll put that at two. I'm not, oh, it's not right. I'm going to have to drop. Uh, 
Alright, I found center. Uh, let me put that in Sharpie so you guys can see it easily. All right, so what I have here is I got my center line. Uh, there's my high line, meaning that's where I want the arch to start. And, sorry, and there's the arch I want to cut. Whew. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice that off. It kind of comes down to there. So I'm going to slice there and there, and then I will cut this arch. Take this piece of cardboard, put it over here, and duplicate that arch. And then I mentioned this before, but I want to bring over this again. So this is double corrugated cardboard. Uh, came with the appliance. We ordered two different appliances to update the house. So I kept the cardboard. Great. Uh, but what you want to do is you don't want to start cutting here because what will happen is it'll cluster, uh, collapse the cardboard and you won't get a really good edge. So you want to start here and then work your way around. And then you start here and work your way this way. Uh, learn this uh, and do a theater design uh, and stage work. Okay. And then here's the there's another jet, so let me line this up and go over this. Once again, most of you will know what I'm talking about. I'm sure anyway. So I just drew this line and it has you know it's not perfect. I just drew that line right there. Now if I cut it and I cut it on this side of the line, say on this side, it will be short because this is this side is right here. Okay. There it is. So I'm cutting this okay, and I just flip it over and I put it over here. So, what I want to do is I want to cut leaving the line behind, and that way it will be balanced. Okay, because the line is on the inside of this, and I want to remove the exact same material, so I want to cut on the outside of that line. Okay, now I have my two negatives. And now if I put them together, I can't really fold that in half. I should have the same arch. And it is pretty darn close. There's just a little bit just in the angle of the blade. So, okay, so I got my shape. Little crowd there, 
there was more little flat oaks at the top. And so I'm just gonna, see, I can't cut, see, I don't know if you can see, I'm crushing that. So I'll probably just take a sandpaper to that. And that way I can clean up this little bulge there. All right, so let's go put this back in the car. It's, uh, a lot of this is just back and forth. All right. So I actually had a better handle. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Sorry, I had to. All right, um, I do need to round that. So, because it's in my head. I'll just, like I said, uh, when we were outside, I'm just gonna sand that down. Because it was round, and the radiator sat here. Actually, it was a little cow up, and I'll bring that. And what I'll do is I'll shape another piece of cardboard, just smaller, actually, I'll probably do is yeah, I'll just shape it and I have those. So what I'll do is I'll just push them in closer, cut it, follow along on the page, and you'll see. And I'll cut another one because it, it angled pretty steep. It'll come up just a little bit. It'll flare past this a little bit. And then um, and then it just leveled out. And it went pretty straight for that large engine. So this might even, I might push it up a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go up right with the frame. Yeah. Most of the time, I'm going to probably be driving like that. That's what I had done last time. Then with the MG. All right. So, let's go ahead and make turns. Um, we're about 45 minutes into it. So, I think we're at a stopping point. So, I'm going to talk about the steering shaft, uh, what I did, and what I liked about what I did. Um, you saw how to shape a hoop. Uh, out of cardboard frame, what will happen now is I'm going to take some one by one. Actually, I probably what I'm going to do is I don't want it coming out. My legs are right here, my dash is right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strapping, this is just one inch uh, by eight inch steel. I don't want to start bending it until I have a curve. I don't want to put a kink in it. But I'm going to have that because that way I can weld this right here on here and then make the arch and then bend it back down here. Now this will flex and that's why I have the one by one uh, that will come in and it will go to the next one which is based off of this spot and then up there where my toes are pointing on. Uh, that will give it its strength because I like to put my hands on the dash to lift out. And the same thing is I have some half by half that will come along here and it'll have some supports here because this way I can push down on here lift myself out as you can see I'm doing right now. See I'm trying to grab something. <laughs> All right so uh, let's head over to the other camera. Let's talk about the steering shaft. All right so what we got here is this is the steering shaft. Um, let me take the steering wheel off. Whew, tripping on things. All right, let's talk about this. So, as you can see, I have the knuckle here. This goes into a rack and pinion. And then I have the quick disconnect. There is something missing from this rod. That's the bearing, uh, bearing support. And so, um, went through a lot of problems on supporting this, uh, the bearing and that. So what I ended up doing, let's see if I have another piece here. Well, it worked out really good. There we go. This isn't the one, but this is a 5.8 collar lock that I had right here. And the one I had, what I did was I drilled and tapped a hole and I had a grease fitting on it. So this was actually welded to the hoop. Uh, and then I had this one that was bolted to it. And then, you know, I don't have a Allen wrench in my pocket. And then this way, this went around this rod and it was just friction. And it would sit here, and you can almost see 
the wear mark there around from this. And this sat here. And then I had a collar lock. Well, because it sat against the rack, it didn't go against anything else. This sat right up against here. Let me get my hand out of the way. Right there. Um, actually, it sat about right there because I had a, a washer that uh, was on this. It gave it a little gap. It was a half a washer. Um, and so that worked out really great. I loved it because it made it really easy to drop the steering out. I didn't have any bearings on this rod. And this part was attached to the rack and pinion. This part was to the block. So that's probably what I'll do again is I'll tap this. I'm trying not to use too much of the old frame or roll cage because I really, I might put it all back together. Um, it might come back. It, you know, it's still got a good sole, a good base, and I don't want to lose it. Uh, so that's why I started all over with a brand new frame on this one. So that's one thing I loved about the steering is I used the lock collar, tap, threaded it, the grease fitting, and that way I had a little bit of grease right there. Just the friction, you know, you're just turning this, this. Um, I didn't need the bearings. Um, yeah, there you go. That, that's one thing, you know, if you stuck around this long to watch it and that's what you learned, that's one thing I wanted to share with you was that little tidbit that I caught uh, instead of trying to put a bearing on here or forgot the bearing. Uh, this way you could put that up there and it worked out really good for me. Uh, the, steer, steering, yeah, the steering failure that I did have had nothing to do with the rod. It was the uh, rack and pinion. Let me put you over here. This is the $90 rack from Amazon and the pinion nut right in there fell out it came loose because there was no castle nut there was no thread locker there was no lock washer there was nothing it was just a pinion nut and it came loose from going back and forth so many times so what i've done was i took it all apart drilled the hole and put a castle nut in so now i have a powder pin and a castle nut so that nut that can't come out unless it shears the powder pin which i don't think it's going to do you know this is just a go kart, it's not a car, and I'm building it strong like a car. So, um, there you are. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you have it, please uh, subscribe to the channel. We've been doing this forever, actually. This is something I enjoy, it helps me better my uh, talents in filmmaking. It's a uh, Something I want to learn more in my arts, uh, mostly as a school teacher, this is what I might have to be doing with the COVID. So this gives me an opportunity to practice. Um, we'll be keep going with cycle carts. Uh, this one's uh, number two, the MGs, which you've been watching. I have a sand rail that I got to get done. Uh, we'll be filming. As soon as the sand rail is caught up, we will be building a miniature version of a cycle cart for my youngest son that has been really enjoying these things and he wants to get into it both my youngest and my middle boy my oldest boy is as big as my wife so she is and he's able to go and fit in the mg without any problems so all right thank you once again for joining me if you haven't please subscribe like the channel i really appreciate